It's like something from a Hitchcock film with a distinctly Australian twist. For the past two months, thousands of galahs have been gathering in Bulya. As it gets drier and drier in the area, you know, the township is that little oasis that they fly over and, oh, here's a good place to camp. But they've become a menace. They are so noisy and they wake us up in the morning when we try to sleep. But it's their weighty impact on power lines that's the biggest problem. They're causing frequent blackouts, frustrating townsfolk. Um, issues is with our computer systems, um, you know, Technology is, is paramount nowadays with our fridges and all that sort of air conditioners. So that would be causing fire in that area. So it was having a financial impact as well. Ergon Energy has installed spaces on the lines to stop them from touching. And the council and residents have cut back the trees to make perching more difficult. They've even tried a scare gun, but nothing has worked. Locals are losing the plot. Well, where I live, I've got to walk from home over the pub between two neighbours and the trees have just stripped by them and I'm just waiting for them to poop on me. They screech all night, they get wake all night, they put on everything, they strip the, they strip the leaves off every tree, they are menace. The birds are expected to move on when the drought breaks. But the locals fear that will be November, at the earliest. Nicole Bond, ABC News, Bullia.